On this first day of school, parents in South Brooklyn have been scrambling to find free after-school options for their kids. This follows a change in the state's grant program. Hannah Klieger lives in Brooklyn and has been looking into how this impacts families there. What did you find out, Hannah? Yeah, Christina Maurice, this comes despite an... Alex Chinowski is heavily involved in his daughter's education at PS216. So when he learned that the free after-school program they relied on will not be funded, he's left with two options, pay out of pocket or find another child care solution. Now this program's going about $35 to $4,000 per per child. Right away, if you do the math, you're talking about if somebody has three children in the school for after school, you're talking about 10, over 10 grand. He's one of many Besides parents who reached out to elected officials after they learned program providers that they relied on were not awarded funding from the New York State Office of Children and Family Services. State Senator Andrew Granardis says his office has been looking for answers. Bewilderingly enough, you know, the state can't even tell us which other providers are getting that funding instead. In the past, there were two separate after-school grant programs that have been consolidated into one new grant program with new criteria and new eligibility. He's joined by Senator Jessica Scarcella Spanton. Uh, principals are frantically trying to figure out what they're going to do for their students. Parents are calling us um, really, really concerned. Lawmakers say they know of at least 1,300 students impacted across 10 schools in Brooklyn and one in Queens. The state disputes those numbers, saying there are fewer impacted families. A spokesperson from OCFS responded in a statement that reads in part, we are working with local elected officials to help these families families access free or low cost after school care in their area by utilizing the state's child care assistance program. Parents are frustrated that the agency still hasn't released a list of program providers who have been approved. It's not transparent. They don't know until the monies have been allocated. Well, the process is taking too long. So, sorry about that, Hannah. Why hasn't the full list of uh, fully funded providers, how, how come that hasn't been released just yet? From what lawmakers are saying, it has to do with laws around procurement. They can't disclose this list until the contracts have been signed. But the issue people are having is it's the first day of school. Why have they not released this list yet? Knowing which providers will be working in Southern Bro Brooklyn can help parents figure out alternate solutions or even find out if they will be operating out of Southern Brooklyn. It would be nice to know, yeah. for sure. Thank you for bringing this to our attention, Hannah, and we'll look forward to some updates. By the way, Hannah is a Southern Brooklyn native and covers the borough. If you have a story idea, you can email the address there on your screen.